Welcome back to Railroads Online, and this is episode two of the track building in the new splines. Um, last episode, we covered all the basic stuffs so of how to place rails and how to connect rails. And in this episode, we're going to cover how to get aligned to the platforms. Um, some of the platforms are a lot easier to align to than others, like this one here is perfectly north-south. So it is extremely easy to align to in the new system. Um, so what we do is we pull out a piece of rail and we can see it's not pointing quite the right direction that we want it to. It's pointing across the platform. So what we do is we go over to our alignment tool and it's in tens and we've gone the wrong way. This one is north south, so it is exactly 90 degrees and to check that, we can bring this here up on top and we can align the edge of the dirt along the edge of the platform. And you can see that's pretty close to being exactly 90. It's spot on for 90 actually, I'd call that. So to align to the platforms, we just sort of put the legs in the dirt slightly. And then we need to put on our circle mode so that it will build a straight line. Oh, that's up, wrong button, that one. So that will build a perfect straight line in front of the platform and it's aligned. Very, very easy to do in this new spline system. Okay, the next one that we'll look at is we'll very quickly run over here and it's this is one of the things that's great with this dev run speed. We'll come over here and we will have a look at the alignment here at the unloading platform for the logs. Now, as you can see, it doesn't line up with 90. That's the direction we place the first piece of track at. So we're going to have to move the alignment around a little bit. And that's the wrong way. Let's go this way. And when we're working in tens, that one's too far that way, that one's too far that way. So we're going to have to change to a smaller increment which is the grid size one. And now we'll move it until we get closer to line up to the edge of this platform. And that's pretty close. But if we go one further, that's too far. And so we'll, the only one we could use is that one. But if we bring it over and actually align it to the edge, it's actually slightly off on this one. It's about half a degree or a quarter of a degree or so off from lining up perfectly so we're just going to have to use this one because we don't have any half alignments so we need to line it up here somewhere just like that so that it's just covering over the edge and run it along and by the time we get to the other end because the alignment was slightly off we will be nice and neat with the end and we're already on circle mode with it locked. It can't place anything but a straight. Pull it full straight until it meets up with the other end over there at the stairs. So somewhere lined up about there. And that should have us lined up nice and neatly with the pond. Very, very easy to do. And let's have a look and see what that angle was again. Press G, grab out a piece of track. And the angle was 123 degrees. And if you actually build it back from this way, it is 303 degrees if you try and build this direction. Okay, now we'll very quickly run over here to the log camp. Zoom, zoom. Now building at the cranes is slightly different because, well, we don't want to be close up against the edge of the platform because that's not where the crane is going to drop the item we want to try and get the item that's dropped center of the rails so we'll put this back on a 10 grid and spin the track around so that it lines up and builds along the edge here and as we can see it's not 10 let's go back for one because we're not lined up to the tens Not 340, we want 
zero. And we can see that this one is not quite perfectly east-west. So it's not at zero. So we'll go for the one increments. One that direction is too far. And that's slightly too far that direction as well. But if we look closely at these cranes, the one at this end is slightly further out than the one at this end. But let's get, this is going to be close enough for us to get it to line up to the cranes, because if we go to the next increments, that's too far that way, and that one's too far that way. So that's the one we need to use. Okay, so same as we used to do in the old system, make the crane go so that we know where the log is going to fall and put it center of the tracks and you do have to wait for it to disappear and when it disappears it'll let us put the track in and we're already on circle mode with it on zero so it will build a straight track and we can just build the track straight through here to the end and to double check to make sure that we actually got it to work we'll grab two logs and we'll drop two logs here on the track to make sure we actually got it lined up center of the track and that's nice and that's nice and of course the model for the new rails is not a physics object yet so it doesn't have any hit boxes on it for the logs to bounce on and the same thing again here we can do the same thing on this platform so let's grab out a piece of rail and we'll have a look at the alignment and we can see here that it's not quite that way. So if we, that's too far and that's too far back the other way, perhaps and one of these platforms is not the same as the other. And as you can see, we're aligned too far back that way on this platform. So we might have to go with this one, which again is one degree facing to the east. And same as we did with the logs, make the crane work so we know where it lands on the ground move it up so that it's aligned gotta wait for it to disappear and then we can put in our piece of track and it's already on circle mode so it'll build a straight line and click it in easy very very easy to do to get the alignments to line up to the cranes and the platforms and we'll do it one more time. We'll run around to the oil fill, which will only take a couple of seconds because super speed. Over here to the oil platforms, and they are right here. Now these platforms, if we look down them, they're all not quite aligned. So we want to try and get to the one that is furthest out, which is this one here. So we'll do our alignment again. We'll put the up against the edge of the platform and we'll look that's too far that way and I think that's the nicest line up there and this one is at zero this built facility is perfectly east west and that's pretty close for that one let's check it against this platform and I'd be pretty happy to say that's close so again we run over here put just the edge of the dirt touching the legs oh and look at that we're actually building the wrong way so we're on zero so that means we need to turn it around 180 degrees so we'll grab out our piece of track again put it on 10 increments and spin it to be 180 degrees if we remember back to maths class in high school so the 180 degrees is the opposite direction when you're talking in a circle. And there we go. That's the track built in and aligned to these platforms. It is a very, very, very easy process to do. Hey, right, well, thanks for watching this one. This one's only a short one. And in the next video, we'll cover making a Y. Thanks for watching, like and subscribe, and I will see you in the next video.